Good morning, Gideon. How you doing, buddy? All right, making breakfast. Got oranges ready. Got some uh, nice homegrown eggs. Cabbage. This is classic. Man, turkey bacon. Oh, I know. It's not the same as uh, bacon bacon. But I had to take a break from bacon bacon for health reasons, for my Lyme disease. I'm on a protocol. And so hopefully we'll be able to bring that back soon. This is good, but not nearly as good as bacon bacon. It is a cold morning. I'm so excited my wood stove finally caught. The embers were low this morning. It was hard to get it was hard to get going and I finally got it. Look how orange those eggs are. It's crazy. The difference between fresh eggs and store-bought eggs and eggs that have like ours that have gotten greens they're fresh and they've gotten greens and all kinds of other good stuff and just look how orange it's just incredibly orange so guys it's midday but it's really cold i gotta go check on the waters when i say really cold it's like zero and that's cold here in north carolina but no matter where you are zero is gonna freeze your water so, I so i've got my feed soaking and sprouting in here in the furnace room, okay? Keeps it warm. Uh, I've also put, I also switch out the waterers, uh, keep some waters in here to keep it warm. Look, this is the one I got out this morning. It was totally froze, but it's not even thawed out yet. This is a spare one. I'm glad I've set this up. Shoot though, it's it's got some ice in it too. So I, I'm probably just gonna have to grab a pan because both my spare waterers, it's so cold. It's not even staying warm enough in the heating room. Uh, to thaw out so I'm gonna just have to get a, a water pan together and, and get that set up for them. So I rounded up this uh, feed pan, gotten the, wa uh, gotten the spigot waterer, those are uh, freeze proof. The cutoff valve is way down in the bottom but I'm gonna go. Yeah I just put the waterer in there, look they're really coming over and enjoying that. The ducks and the geese in on the action, the ducks are diving their head in, they love the water like this. They can just dive their head in there and uh, get that. But this seems to be work. I've got it set up on a uh, another upside down pan to keep it off. So I'm here checking on the cows. This morning I put them up in their paddock. Uh, they're, on, they're not where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be way up there in their paddock. Here at their water, this is from this morning's ice. And it is frozen solid. I've got a big T-post to try to uh, break it up. It's breaking up pretty easy. So I'm excited about that. Uh, so shoot, I should have brought a shovel to, to pull out these big boxes of ice. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to grab them with my hands now that I've broken them up, okay? So that's gonna be it. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's see how that goes. Woo! Just real quick, real quick, right? Barehanded, girding up my loins here. Getting this freezing cold ice water out so the cows can have a drink. Now, okay guys, I showed you, I loved you. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Brown? <laughs> you playing with the, where is he? Where's Mr. Brown? Where's, where's Gideon? Where's Gideon? There he is. <laughs> you all falling down? You okay? Mm, Lily, I see where you're hanging out by the stove. Hot. hot. It's so hot. My word, we do have a lot of milk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gonna have to give some of that to the chickens, man. No, all of them. Or you're gonna have to start drinking more milk. What do yeah, you say? We're gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. go get some. <laughs> the best kind of milk comes in a glass jar. <laughs> So I gotta go outside and do about a couple hours of farm chores. And it's cold outside, so I got all kind, kinds of clothes on. I got an Under Armour like running outfit. I got long johns on. I got a long sleeve shirt. I got a North Face sweater. I got a Carhartt jacket and a Mountain Hardware rain jacket. And your hat. Over my mouth. The only, this morning, the only thing that was bothering me, I got a headache because my the little bit of my forehead was exposed, gave me a headache. Look, 
open up the paddock and they came right down they are ready for some green pastures they're here at the gate they know the drill they are ready to be moved out for dessert i got so hot i had to open up my open up my chest open up all my clothes get some of this coolness man i'm sweating in here got a little too excited with the amount of clothing this was appropriate this morning but uh a little hot now and look who's waiting here at the gate for me i put them into this field to get through and now here they are waiting to get across man they know the drill you guys ready you hungry all right so we got her some greener grass and while we're at it we've got them mowing around the house she's enjoying herself see this side this is our left side we want it to be swelled up by the end of the day so we'll check it later look at this i poured out a bucket full of ice and look what i got a hollowed out ice cube man i wish the boys were here to see this hey i got everybody an ice cake what do you think crazy. where did it come from the bucket the bucket where are the boys i wanted to show them this, Look at this. that is cool now, so is that cool. a cake come here and see it I like a cake yeah i brought you an ice cake Ooh. come here let me see inside of it yeah. oh. what do you think let me cool. see inside of it So I came out here to put up the cows for the evening and they're supposed to be in they're supposed to be in their paddock and they've broken out. They're just wandering all over the farmstead. We have no perimeter fence. Looks like they must have gotten over here. It looks like it's gotten pushed down. This guy's we don't want this one to get out. He's getting nervous. But we definitely don't want that guy to get out. He went beyond where he was supposed to go. He's supposed to turn left there. And he'll probably jump that fence. Okay, good. No, he didn't. I'm going to let him come back. See if he'll come back. Yep, good. Perfect. Because he will certainly jump that little tiny fence down there. And then he'll go who God knows where. Good. He went right inside his stall. That makes me happy. Yeah, guys, so the vet's coming. Uh, little man Nick is gonna get neutered. I guess they've caught word. And so they're trying to get out, but we got this guy up. I am thrilled. Okay, the big mama, the leader of the pack. We're gonna herd her back. She is fat. <laughs> I think she's eating so much. Yeah, look at that side. But she's eating so much. She's kind of waddling. <laughs> she got, look at her, look at their side. Yeah, she looking good. And then everybody showed up. I guess Jonah herded them in. We gotta get the little baby in with the mama. Good job. Vet is here. A couple hours late, but we'll do. So we got Norris in the stanchion. It's the first time in there. And we've decided, we talked with the vet, we decided we're gonna do banding as opposed to castration. He's small enough still uh, to do that. You got to make sure you got both of them down here. I mm -hmm. still don't want to go up so high that you get the urethra involved. But you do a week for two weeks, so it'll fall off. He'll lose sensation in it pretty quick, though. You said he's in a little bit of pain or in a lot of pain right now? He doesn't seem to be in a lot of pain right now. The thing you may yeah. notice, yeah. they'll go out and lay down. Sometimes they'll lay down. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be in a little bit of pain with that, but it will eventually, thank you. It will eventually get kind of numb. So we got Scarlet in the stall, drawing her blood. So how did it go? Okay, so I went out there and I said to her, I said, uh, we're gonna opt out of the tetanus. <laughs> and she didn't ask why or anything. And I just said, we're gonna just take our risks. So thanks to Stephanie. Gonna be not, he's gonna be hurting for two hours. Tonight? Yeah, not crazy, but then, and then it's gonna numb and then it's gonna fall off in a week. Okay. That seems pretty, that seems pretty humane to me. Yeah. I suppose just whacking it off. I think I'd rather go with a band. Yeah. Than getting those <laughs> whacked off. Now, what else you wanna know? Scarlet. Okay, so we got Scarlet in the stall, stanchion. <laughs> 
she about walked through the stanchion, but we got her in there. And once she was in there, she did good. She took the she took the blood out of her tail. She lifted the tail up and shot the shot in there, and got the blood. She said she's got to come back on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So back to the tetanus thing. Oh. What kind of homeopathy are we going to use? Oh, she told me we're first putting arnica in there. Okay. So we're also going to put aconite. Your lotions and potions. Yeah. It is. Your homeopathy kit. Okay, you got your lotions and potions together. I do. I have my Arnica Montana. Nice. And... This is for... And that's it? Okay. Well, we're going to do two different ones. So how many of those Arnica Montana you put in there? Twelve. Twelve And pounds. is that it? Yeah, and I'm going to let it dissolve in there, and then we'll put it in his water. Six, nine. So now what are you putting in here? Now I'm going to put aconite in there. Okay. Because, Becky... He doesn't drink much water at night. Guess who? Guess what you said? What? I waited at the one he went and showed up the chickens. You waited you, the down the there? Yeah, and you, you, the you did it all by yourself yeah. and turned on the fence? It says that when an animal has been banded a little too old, they'll get tetanus. Yeah. But it also says that tetanus is a spore former. In the colistrated group of bacteria, the spores will live in the soil for decades. Dry, dusty weather brings the spores out. Well, we don't really have dry, dusty weather. No. And it also says the best way to stop testness is to is for rain, is to let it rain, as if we can stop rain. Um. Okay. All right. So we hopefully he's not too old, and the homeopathies will work, and we'll be all right. I'm gonna go put it in his water. All right, guys. I'm back. I put that, I put that warm water in that water. Nor little Norris was sitting down. The the vet said that would happen for the f first couple of hours. It's gonna be a little rough. So he's just he's just laying down. Uh, listen, I'm gonna put some of those resources in the show notes in the description. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. Uh, the homeopathy resources, the article we were reading on calf health. So I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy those resources. Bye.